Hi, this is Randy Hilgers with New Vision Software Technical Support. And people often ask me, uh, can I really um, run your older products with the newer products? And here's an example. Here's our soft tutor for AutoCAD uh, 2D, which was uh, uh, done for AutoCAD 2000 series. And parts of this uh, tutorial are actually um, up to, uh, I think they're, uh, they were done in, uh, with AutoCAD 2000. And now we're on AutoCAD 2008, and let's let's just look at some of the differences between the product. Area right up here. I'll just pause this, but uh, the the menu system is very similar. File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools. Uh, if you're matching me down here, Draw, Dimension, Modify. Now Windows and Express have been moved uh, from our version. Windows is here and Express is there. Windows is here and Express is at the end after help. Uh, the icons look uh, while they're while they're different, they're basically the same. This is new. This one here is open. Uh, save, print. I think there's a new one here. This is a new one. Uh, that one goes out to the web now. Uh, we got cut, paste, copy, paint, and here's a new one. Uh, a new one after eight years. <laughs> Here's the undo, the redo. Uh, now this uh, toolbar here, which you can move the toolbars around. Here's the zoom. Here's the zoom in and zoom out. Here's the window. The icons are basically the same. Uh, if you look on the side, we got the line, line segment, your polylines, uh, squares. The thing that's new here is RevCloud, which was added to the toolbar. But everything basically on the toolbar is the same. And I can take an older version of SoftTutor, open up the uh, corresponding example uh, file. I'm going to open. Uh, now SoftTutor is installed. If you have the newer uh, download version, it's on the, uh, somehow I get to my D drive. It installs the program files directory and uh, Self-tutor for AutoCAD, it's down here somewhere. Uh, examples. And uh, I'm in uh, 731, so I look for uh, 7 underscore 31. 7, 2, 7, 3, 1. Okay, and we just... As you can see, SoftTutor is on top of AutoCAD. We can resize SoftTutor. We can move it around on the screen. Uh, SoftTutor will play back really at any setting that you have set up for it. I'll just move SoftTutor up to the side, open up this file. Uh, now, again, if I wanted to zoom up or pan this, if I didn't know how to do it, it's really simple with SoftTutor. Just type in pan. Find a video, dynamic zoom and pan. Zooming in and out of your drawing is typically done by the view pull down. You have zoom and you have a cascading menu that gives you the options. The one I want to show you is the real time zoom at the very top. Now this can be accepted at this location or if you go to the screen, you can go over to the standard toolbar and choose the real time zoom button. Let's select the, the icon on the toolbar. Now you'll notice the cursor turns into a magnifying glass with a plus and minus sign. If you put the cursor over an area of interest and move the left mouse button, hold it down and move the mouse in that direction, you can zoom around close to that point. And as you pull back, you'll notice it zooms out also. So moving the mouse in either direction will move that view back in. I'm going to resize soft tutor a little. The pan is right mouse button click, and you can select off the menu. So while you're zooming, you can select pan, move the mouse, drag the mouse around with the left mouse button down, and then right mouse button click and exit out. Also, when you're performing uh, any kind of construction... Okay, I can just kill that because I've learned what I need to learn, and let's put SoftTutor away. Oops, wait, let's not put SoftTutor away. I want to uh, go back and learn how to draw arcs, so let's... Uh... Let's start off our series of arc commands with the arc by three points. 
in this area right up here in the upper left-hand corner. Now we can select the command from the toolbar, the draw toolbar, or we can go to the draw pull-down and select it that way. Let's go over and select arc three points. Now, if you see the prompt down below, we're going to specify the start point, and we'll just click a point, second point. Now, that's a good point to notice, is uh, the difference between a 2000 series uh, soft tutor and a 2008 series is if you notice, uh, this is AutoCAD 2008, and I'm actually using an old soft tutor tutorial. Uh, if you jumped in in the middle, but now the prompts are actually right there by the cursor. See right by the cursor, it says specify start point of the arc. Uh, now things that appeared down here in the command uh, line are also right next to the cursor. And I have the ability to, uh, at the end of the line where you see it, it's 2.8. That's the field that I can type in. So let me just go back. That would be a slight difference, but I'm still going to try and follow along with this. So let me rewind Soft Tutor a little. I'll the press play. Bar, the draw toolbar, or we can go to the draw pull down and select it that way. Let's go over and select arc three points. Now, if you see the prompt down below, we're going to specify the start point, and we'll just click a point, second point. And the arc goes through, through three points. We'll go ahead and click the end of the arc. Let's repeat the command because there's two. Okay, you notice the difference is basically I'm drawing an arc the same way. The only thing that's really different is, I'm, is uh, with this newer version is I get prompts on my cursor. So let's, uh, let me do that again so you can see it. Here's my cursor. If I did the uh, thing that I learned in Soft Tutor again, See, now it's telling me my angle. I can just go to look that. It's got a lot more display on the cursor, but the actual functionality of the command is basically the same. Uh, if I play this to the next one, or we want to learn how to do a uh, arc by center and end. Let's take a look at all the arc commands. And, you know, go up to the draw toolbar. And you'll notice that the arc option right here has a cascading menu with all these options. Let's go to this, this one right here, the second one. Just start, center, and end. When you use that option, it's asking you to specify a start point, and then the end center or the end point. Now, in this case, we're going to go ahead and hit a point for the center point. And then the arc now will go through that point. So you can we'll not bring it around this way. As you're going in a direction, the arcs have directions. So if we bring it around, you see what happens, the opposite one. Okay, I'll pause soft tutor. Another thing that was different is uh, now when we go into the draw toolbar, now we have little images here next to them. So there's, uh, while AutoCAD 2008 is a newer version, the fundamental changes to 2D design haven't really changed much since our Soft Tutor for AutoCAD 2000 product. So uh, there obviously are new features. There's uh, this command here. There's uh, now they now they put their uh, now they dock their toolbars over here on the side. And uh, our Soft Tutor for AutoCAD 2004 version talks about docking and talks about dragging and dropping stuff out of uh, out of the side here. Basically, it's the same. So, uh, if you uh, bought an older product, the Soft Tutor, uh, you may want to upgrade. You may be uh, satisfied with what you currently.